First John 4, verse 7 to 21. God's love for being his people. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is, is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not, love knoweth not God, for love for God is love. And this was manifested, the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live therein through him. Herein is love, not that we loved him God, but that he loved us, and sent his only his Son to be the perpetuation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we, we ought to also love one another. No man hath seen God at any time. If we loved one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. Hereby know we the Spirit that dwelleth in the... Hereby know we that we dwell in him, and he in us, because he hath given us, the, because he hath given us his, of his Spirit. And we have seen and do testify that we have we have the father that the father sent the son to be the savior of the world. For whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. And he, we know we have known and believe the love that God dwell hath to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love and dwelleth in God, and God in love, in him. <laughs> Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in the world in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment, he that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him by we love him because he first loved us. If a man say I love God and hateth his hates his brother, he is a liar. For he that loves not his brother, for whom he hath, he has seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that we that he who love loves God love his brother also.